All right, so the Department of Homeland Security, ICE, and a slew of other agencies have a really big problem right now. More illegal migrants than ever before continue to flow through our southern border. Now, just to recap the last 18 months, local municipalities were saddled with the burden on public resources to handle the influx of these migrants. There are some towns in Texas where their populations, like, doubled. I mean, this is all due to the Biden administration's unwillingness to do anything about it. That's all. The mainstream media, obviously, was just carrying water for the Biden administration. They refused to give this story any coverage whatsoever. And this crisis made almost no headlines anywhere. That was until Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott loaded up planes, trains, and automobiles with these illegal migrants and shipped them off to liberal, self-proclaimed sanctuary states. Eh, you want them? You got them. Now, the left's biggest wake-up call coming when a plane full of migrants, just about 50 migrants, touched down in the backyard of Obama's liberal utopia in Martha's Vineyard. Now, these democratically controlled states, their response, the state of Massachusetts, for 50 migrants, mind you, was to activate the National Guard at a ratio of four guardsmen to one migrant and deport them immediately. Weird. NIMBY. Not in my backyard. Now, the hypocrisy, obviously, was not lost on you and I or the rest of America, quite frankly. But the push from the border state governors continued. The liberal outrage grew. And even Lori Lightfoot just yesterday on CNN noted this. I felt like it was important to once again try to engage the governor, but also let him know what his policies and practices are doing in cities like Chicago. We are completely tapped out. We have no more space, no more resources, and frankly, we're already in a surge. Um, yeah, that's kind of how they feel down in Texas, only it's like a hundred times worse. It's sitting right in front of their liberal faces, and they can't even see it. Instead, they blame Trump, they criticize him for building a wall, but then they acknowledge that there is a problem like Lori Lightfoot just did. You cannot make this stuff up. But this weekend was a perfect example of how careless and useless the system has become here, okay? And I'm not talking about the rank-and-file officers. They get it. They're doing a good job, but their hands are tied. I'm talking about the leadership. At least a four-time that we know of deported illegal immigrant was back in Texas somehow, probably because the border's not secure. That's the first problem. It's wide open. This guy killed five neighbors, including a nine-year-old. Reportedly execution style as well. By the way, I'd like to note that with a gun that by state and federal law, he was prohibited from acquiring in the first place. That's the second problem. And the reality check is that criminals are going to get guns no matter what. But if you look at other networks, they're making it a gun story, not a border story. Because, you know, the person is never at fault. It's really the gun. It's even crazier thing here is that there were multiple reports of him like randomly firing his gun out the front door to his house. Never mind the fact that these bullets go like a mile. They had to land somewhere. That alone should have landed him in jail for at least a while or deported again. I mean, where is our border czar Kamala Harris on this? Nowhere. That's right. Her schedule's blank again. You know how I know for certain that this is a leadership problem? When asked, even after being briefed about it, Mayorkas wouldn't comment on the criminal's immigration status. There is some question about his citizenship. He supposedly had a, 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 I guess they referred to it as a, a consulate card from Mexico, meaning he was here legally, but perhaps he had overstayed. So, Chuck, I, I won't comment on it because it is an active case. Mm -hmm. uh, the tragedy uh, that occurred is, uh, you described it correctly, just absolutely horrific. Just the, the arrogance and hubris and just not a care in the world for this guy. He can't even pretend. The real tragedy is that this administration had at least five chances to get this right, and they failed. They messed up every single time. And what's your excuse? It was Trump. Now it's the fault of Congress, apparently. The president on day one delivered a solution. He delivered immigration reform legislation that we had hoped Congress would act on swiftly. They haven't. That is such a crock, and he knows it. They're not even trying to hide it. There's no solution. They don't have a plan. Trump had a plan. Build a wall. Stops people from coming in. Their plan is what's happening right now. You know my biggest problem with Democrats is? They're never interested in solutions, ever. They're the party of no. They're the party that just tears things down. In this case, literally, they tore down a wall when a state government tried to build their own out of shipping containers. 
they were forced to tear it down because they got fined for like littering or something. Spare me your actual wanting to fix this problem, Aorcus. Such a joke.